Hi guys, my name's um, Colin Durrant uh, from www.cgdown.com. I'm a writer of horror, uh, supernatural thrillers. Uh, feel free to hop over to my site, download a few books if you want. Some of them are for free or subscribe or whatever. Okay, um, so today I'm going to be talking very briefly about GIMP and how to merge two pictures um, within GIMP to take away that kind of sort of hard edge from edge to edge on two pictures that you're trying to sort of merge. I've been asked that a few times, so here's how you kind of do it. So we have our, obviously, GIMP open here. And what you want to do is go to where your pictures are located. Now you can use the option of file, open, open as layers and bring in the images that way or open and, and copy or cut and paste. But I find it a lot easier just to use the drag and drop option. Okay, so say we drag one images here, say for instance this, bring that into place. So I did that drag and that will automatically scale to the size of that photo and almost set the canvas to that kind of sort of image size and that most likely mean that the next image you copy in won't be set to that size so you see it's slightly off the boundaries so these are the two images that we want to combine so what you're going to do is move over to a toolbox here to scale and just briefly we're going to resize just resize this ever so slightly click on scale just to resize it what we're going to do, we're just going to move it a little bit over over here. Okay, so that's kind of in place now. Now you notice that there's a line, there's a yellow dotted line which separating the two uh, images. This is the boundary line. Um, if you don't want to see this, you can get rid of this so you can see just the image by clicking on view, okay, and deselecting the show layer boundary that will get rid of this line so that it will show the two lines. Now you can see that the images are side by side obviously, uh, but there's a hard line obviously between between these images here. So you want to get kind of sort of get rid of that or soften it at least a little. So we move up to this, obviously to your mode section here, to your layers box here. Um, right click and then click um, add layer mask. White full opacity, click on add. Okay, so that's done. So let's add a layer mask to that. Now what we want to do is add a blend tool to that. So move over to your toolbox, click on your blend tool. Okay, now there's various options here. Uh, by default, mine is and yours may also be uh, set to foreground to background RGB. If you click on this section here, it shows you various kind of sort of options, various different kind of sort of, well, different styles that you can choose. So I'm going to leave it on this for the time being. So all you need to do is uh, left click it and literally just drag one over to the other. And what you do, you will see that it kind of sort of merges them. Now you see up here, okay, you have the hand, obviously not, you can see there's a hard line here. And that's obviously because you have white into black. So what you want to try and do is try and get the closest color matches you can for the images that you want to merge. But you see just by doing that, it takes away the hard line. Now obviously the harder you, the more you drag it, you can come right over to the image here, drag the line right fully into that. Okay, and it will merge it much more strongly. So it obviously depends upon what depth you want to kind of sort of merge it to what degree, what kind of sort of level, if you want to do it over so slightly, just very, very slight. You know, obviously if you want to full kind of sort of merge and try to bring, you know, this image here more fully over to this image, you can drag it right across, okay? And that kind of will do that. Um, so let's undo that and see what it's like when you redo it on the hand, see what kind of merging you have here. Um, one of the best ways to get rid of this is to use like the smudged tool, okay? Um, you can use your PCT kind of sort of tool. I'm not going to go into that here, but if you just okay, actually let me have, let me go into that just briefly. So if you go to the smudge tool here, okay, and the pressure opacity, you might need to adjust the size and the hardness levels. But if we move move over here, and this is going to be quite harsh. This okay, but if we move over here and click on to this level here, and drag them over time, what will happen is that these move what you may need to do is merge the images down so what do once you've got these in place okay take away the hard line move to the image and what we're going to do is you're going to merge down okay now what you should be able to do is use these kind of sort of smudge tools okay so what you can do is use your smudge tools and use like the opacity pressure opacity just to take away that hard edge on the hand here particularly used for Obviously, when you're kind of sort of blending hard lines and different shades and different tones. But you see, 
I mean, this is just me obviously doing it just for a few seconds. You know, if you were to spend some time on it and obviously change the aspect ratio and the size, and the best thing to do is probably zoom in, zoom into um, ob obviously so you can get a real tight in. But you can see just by doing that, just spending a few seconds doing that, it's blended that in and made that much look much easier, much better. And you can use other kind of sort of tools here as well as pressure opacity, use perspective or track direction if you want to bring the whiteness round into that okay but if you keep it using your pacey tool it will blend that blend that blend that may need to do it for a minute or so before it blends it fully but you can see that obviously it's taken away the harsh line it's blended obviously the two pictures so that is how you blend two pictures and take away that hard line and then you can use additional obviously tools such as uh, these dynamics these smudge tools pressure opacity and uh, velocity tracking and so forth in these options here to actually just get rid of those extra hard lines where you have too much of a contrast in color between one image and the other and that's how you do it okay well i hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful uh, if you did uh, comment leave a like as i said visit my webpage www.cgdown.com subscribe comment whatever okay thank you very much bye bye